So, <clears throat> I've had a lot of friends ask me to do a uh, farm tour or a tour of some of our farm equipment. So I decided to start a tour of our equipment that we used for corn planting and bean planting this spring, everything we use this spring. So I'm gonna start with our John Deere 4430. It's a 1977 4430. Uh, we've owned it since 2001. Uh, we purchased it uh, on an auction here in Northern Indiana. It uh, is a very healthy 4430. It's putting out 200 horse. Um, we've never really had to do any major work to it. Um, <clears throat> the rear hydraulic pump in the rear end is one thing that we've changed and we had to do one axle bearing in all the time that we've had it. This tractor's got right around uh, about 14,000 hours on it uh, that we know of. Um, and uh, it's been a really, really good tractor. It, it had uh, clamp on duels when we first bought it, and we put axle mount duels on it, found uh, the rims, the hubs, and everything to convert it to axle mounts. So it's been a real good tractor. Uh, we've actually just unhooked the corn planter off of it, and we are going to put uh, liquid fertilizer on for side dressing for our corn. We're going to put 32 nitrogen on it. So we're going to do that on our muck ground, and then we're going to run anhydrous on all of our sandier soils because uh, the uh, muck freezes to the knife so bad with uh, anhydrous and with uh, liquid fertilizer. You're using a colder, so you don't have that issue, and it's liquid, and it's safer to work with. So anyways, there's the 4430, and I'm going to go do the rest of the tractors. Uh, I wanted to catch it before it left because Dad's going to be leaving this afternoon with it to go do some side dressing. Um, I've got to get the 4955 set up with the anhydrous toolbar, so I'm going to be doing that later today. So I'll uh, get to the other tractors. So, so here we have our 1992 John Deere 4955. We've had this tractor about uh, eight years now. Um, it's our uh, light tillage tractor, my bean planter tractor, uh, side dressing tractor. It's In fact, right now we're going to hook up the uh, anhydrous applicator. I'm going to leave the disc back here for now so that uh, we have room up front for other stuff in and out. Um, we're going to come back later, hook the disc back up, bring it up to the shop, pressure wash it all off, and put it away. So anyways, uh, this tractor also pulls a grain cart in the fall. So, uh, at first it was our, one of our tillage tractors, but then we got the 8640, so it took the place of this, and then we got the 9300, so it really took the place, so this tractor really does light work anymore, that still requires a front wheel assist tractor. So, uh, it's been a good tractor, about, uh, two years ago we put all new rubber all the way around it. The only thing I got left that I really want to do to it is put a cab kit in it, because since 92 it hasn't had a cab kit and John Deere guys know that over time the upholstery deteriorates in them so I'm going to get a cab put in, cab kit put in this one already did the 4430 with all brindle brown so that cab's a real nice cab to sit in um the only major thing that's ever happened to this tractor was what uh, about two three weeks ago the uh, engine oil pump the gears spun on the shaft and uh we replaced that. Luckily, I got the engine shut down in time. Didn't destroy anything. Main bearings, rod bearings all look good in it. So, put it back together, and that's why it's got the disc on it. Because I wanted to make sure that everything was in tip-top shape before this fall when it goes back on a grain cart. Because it wouldn't get ran much over the summer. So, I took it out and done a bunch of discing with it to ensure that the engine was okay. So... I'm going to get this unhooked and get the anhydrous applicator put on this one. And then uh, we'll go do a video on the 8640. And then uh, later today, the 9300. And we'll probably end with the 2940. So I know I uh, had some friends request this video. So I thought, well, I got a little time. I'm going to get working on it and uh, get this video made for them. So here we have our John Deere 9300. Um, actually bought this tractor oh about two years ago um my cousin eric sent me a message and said hey uh bane welker and lacrosse and 421 
They've got a uh, John Deere 9300 sitting on their lot that I think's right down your alley. So I got a hold of my buddy Eric Poynton, which is a salesman there at Bain Welker, and uh, I talked to him about it. He's like, yeah, we got a 9300 out here. Come check it out. So I went out there, and Dad and I looked at it, drove around, fell in love with it. So here it is. We ended up buying it. Um, this tractor's got about 6,000 hours on it. Uh, no major issues with it. The only problem we did have with it was the brake valve underneath the cab. The exhaust runs past the brake valve and there's rubber boot on the brake valve. Well, the rubber boot from the heat dry rotted, deteriorated, fell off and exposed the brake valve pistons to the elements and they rusted up and they stuck. And uh, so it was kind of the brakes were hanging up on it. So pulled the valve out, had it rebuilt, put it back in. The tractor's been fine ever since. So um, it does have the quad range, trans quad range transmission. It's not a power shift which is fine with me. I like the quad range. Put it in B2, put it in high, and run six and a half, seven miles an hour all day long with the 724 soil finisher that we're pulling behind it. And then we are pulling a 200 seed bed John Deere seed bed finisher behind that. And this tractor's got plenty of power. It does all of our major tillage work now. Kind of took some of the weight off the 8640. Uh, the 8640 is still around because it'll go just about anywhere and we don't mind taking it out in the mud so usually the 8640 has got the 496 disc behind it for drying out wet ground and whatever else needs disc so uh the 9300 has been a very good tractor uh when i used to work for my cousins and my uncle i used to run 9400 love that tractor the only thing I would like to do is I would like to get a 9400 or another 9300 with the big tires on it. That's one thing I'd like to do eventually. So uh, behind me, I've got the 4640 here at the field, and we are going to plant some beans. I know everybody's like, I thought you were done planting beans. Well, I got a little more ground to plant. So this actually still belongs to my grandpa. Uh, I am in the process of buying it. Uh, he's had this tractor for oh, 25 years. It's a 1981, which is the same year as my old Kenworth and the same year as my L2 Gleaner. So I kind of got like a set going on if I end up with this tractor. So it is a hydraulic front wheel assist. It's got 20.838s on the rear. I have not had to use a hydraulic front wheel assist pulling the uh, planter. Anytime I get in a little sticky situation, I simply hit the diff lock and it dries right out. So it's actually a tractor that will go through some wet stuff. Um, it is a quad range tractor. Um, when I end up with it, I'm going to get a full set of suitcase weights for it and probably put a Brindle Brown uh, cab kit in it like we did the 4430, so it's updated like a 50 series. Um, it was Grandpa's major tillage tractor. He pulled a 24-foot 10-10 soil finish with it, or field cultivator, I'm sorry. He pulled that with it, and a 5-shank 3-point hitch ripper, and a chisel plow with this tractor. And he always planted with a 4430. He had a, a earlier model 4430 than ours. Um, he since sold that tractor. Kind of wish I would have ended up with that one. Had a nice 158 John Deere loader on it. But uh, at least he kept this one. So this one's been as long, around as long as I can remember. This was always Grandpa's big tractor. Um, so anyways, I'm going to get planting. Um, and I guess another nice thing about hydraulic front wheel assist is you get to run a bigger bar tire on the front, which is really helpful. They stay turning in the mud. So I know the old three rib tires and like the 4430, once they start pushing, you're kind of done. Unless you can power through it and get them to come back up on the ground and you can drive out. So I guess the only tractor that's on our farm that is a power shift is the 4955. The rest are all quad range, um, which there's nothing wrong with the old quad ranges. I actually... I enjoy planting with a quad range because everything's in a row. You know, you come up to the end of the field and you want to back up. You just pull the lever all the way down and you're in reverse. You don't have to go down and over. So, and plus, you know, there's, you put it in B2 
and it, it's a perfect speed for planting with this planter anyway so it works out great for me I don't I don't really mind not having a power shift in it um, so anyways that's these two tractors I got a little out of order with my video I was gonna do the 8640 and the 2940 next but uh, it don't matter I can edit around it or just leave it alone so anyways, I'm going to get my markers unpinned, and I'm going to get planting and get this planted today. I guess I should add that the only reason that really the 4640 is on the air seeder is because of the 4955 having the oil pump issue earlier, and I need a tractor. And actually, after using this tractor on the planter, I really like it on the planter, and that's one of the main reasons why I'm going to buy it is I'm going to put this on the planter and put the 4955 probably back on the corn planter because we have some soft ground and uh 7012 row out in the muck sometimes gets to be a little much for 4430 so uh by getting this tractor that'll free up the 49 and i'll be able to uh plant with this one and dad can have the 49 back so it'll work out great so so we're back at the shop now. Uh, we are officially done planting beans for the second time. So uh, let's continue our uh, tour of the equipment. So here we have our 1979-8640. Uh, this tractor, when we got it, I got this one uh, about four years ago. It was in pretty bad shape. It uh, came off a dairy farm. It had a blade on it at one time on the front clutch was smoked out of it it had a failed side exhaust attempt that uh, left the wiring harness all melted in it um, ended up going to Worthington Ag Parts and getting a whole different hood for it putting the exhaust back where it belongs putting the air breather back where it belongs I uh, had to change four out of the eight tires because they were pretty bad pretty cracked um, it was it was in sad shape um, we done all the work ourselves to it uh, brought it in the shop split it put the clutch in it um, had to put all new hydraulic remote cables uh, rebuilt the remotes on it they were all pretty bad and wore out uh, new shift cables the tractors had a lot of work um, and that's one of the reasons I don't really want to get rid of it uh, we'd thought about getting rid of it but then I'm like well had a lot of work done by us we know what we've got in it we know what we've done to it and it's just a nice old tractor to have around just to disc with and stuff like that and it gets around real good in the wet ground so uh it needs a cab kit yet i'm gonna do the 50 series update cab kit on it i'm gonna do that probably this winter and then probably paint this one the 4640 is going to get painted if i end up with it and the 4430 is going to get painted so they're all three going to get painted um we've had them long enough they've proven themselves they're uh good mechanical shape the 4430 cleans up real nice so if you wax it it'll clean up real nice but we want to give it a automotive paint job and make it just absolutely beautiful so that is in the makings just got to get time to do it so uh we're going to move on to the 2940 now and uh talk about it a little bit so here we have our little 2940 um originally came off of a uh, i believe a vegetable farm a friend of ours bought a couple of these on an auction as a package deal um it had duels all the way around it i would have liked to seen it with duels on it um it's got very high hours uh from what i've heard the the tack has rolled over uh it they claim that it's probably got 15 or 16 thousand hours on it but uh it was uh this is a german 2940 it was actually made in manaheim germany it's got the hydraulic or not hydraulic mechanical front wheel assist on it which is definitely kind of a kind of a rare thing to see um, mechanical front wheel assist really didn't come out till the 50 series but this 40 series has it on it um, it's been a fun little tractor uh, its main duties are mowing with a batwing we mow roadsides with it uh, we pull our big blade disc with it after we clear ground um, 
mow a lot of CRP ground with it. Um, we've run some augers with it, stuff like that. Uh, we cultivated some corn with it one time. We, we've got it set on 30 inch rows. And it's just a handy little tractor to have around. A uh, little six cylinder motor, it's like 95 horse. And it's, it's a pretty tough little tractor. It gets around good out in wet ground. When we were tiling, we used to string tile out with it. It was good for that. And uh, just an all around cool little tractor. Um, I know a lot of guys bad mouth these. These little, they call them the Mannerheim tractors. It's built in Germany. But we really haven't had any trouble with it. It's always been pretty reliable. Um, just, I mean, it's got high hours, so it's just got you know gear shifters a little loose in it and stuff like that but the cool thing is it's got a synchronized transmission so you can shift it on the go pretty easily that's a pretty cool part about it so but anyways um the only tractors we're missing out here are the 4955 and the 4430 and they're up by the shop but i already done the videos on them so uh that kind of wraps it up other than uh I guess I was going to do a video on the equipment that we used for planting season this, this spring. Uh, the only thing that we haven't discussed is the old W900 Kenworth and the tanker. But those aren't really tractors. Um, so, anyways, if you like this episode, give me a like and subscribe. I greatly appreciate it. And follow us through till fall. And then we'll get into a whole other line of equipment. You know, our fall tillage stuff, our uh, combines, semis, and hopper bottoms. So, anyways, thanks for watching, and I'll, I'll uh, see you on the next one.